Hello and welcome. You're listening to the fortnightly podcast of the University of Queensland's Astrophysics Group, where we broadcast up-to-the-minute astronomical news and research happening both within the group here at UQ and abroad. For more information, visit our website at smp.uq.edu.au or for all other inquiries, send us an email to astrogroup at uq.edu.au. In this episode, we're very happy to welcome Dr. Alan Duffy visiting from the University of Western Australia. He'll be talking about the OWLS project and his contribution to the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder. So let's hear what he has to say. My name's Alan Duffy. I'm from the International Centre of Radio Astronomy Research based in UWA in Perth in Western Australia. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, overwhelmingly large simulation collaboration, which is a, an international consortium of simulators, so that's essentially theoretical astrophysicists who make use of computational resources to make predictions for large-scale structures such as galaxies and clusters of galaxies. And trying to combine the two is this sort of the field of H1 or neutral hydrogen. So we're developing a prototype uh, to the square kilometer array, the Australian SKA Pathfinder. This is going to enable us to scan huge swathes of the sky in unprecedented detail in neutral hydrogen. And the problem with this is, of course, that since no one's done it before, we don't really know what to expect. So the simulations, these large-scale cosmological volume simulations, give us the chance to make both predictions um, and also to try and guide the interpretations of this huge wealth of data that will come from this telescope. The other flip side to my job is trying to figure out what dark matter is. Um, essentially, we believe that the uh, matter content of the universe is actually dominated by an unseen gravitating component, which is euphemistically called dark. This enables galaxies to bind together, rotating faster than they should, which is the sort of famous flat or rising rotation curves. Um, we also have a number of issues with this cold dark matter paradigm, but essentially the simulations allow us to make robust predictions for how galaxies are distributed, their masses, how fast they rotate even. These can be checked with observations, and this combination of both observation and prediction is really, this interface is really where I find uh, the most science to be gained and the most exciting stuff to be found.